Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now I've been sent from Chiji, their latest in motorcycle technology, and that is the AI05 Lite. And that is a smart riding system for your motorcycle. And it is packed with so much technology. Now Chiji state that they are going to resolutionize the ordinary, and they literally are doing that with this system. One of the biggest features I really, really like about this already is that it will do Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. That means it will mirror directly from your phone. So no more having your phone out in the element for risk of water damage or scratches or shaking that camera so it doesn't work anymore. You can have that nice and easily put away in your pocket or in your back box on charge out the way that's just really cool now this opens up satellite navigation your whatsapp messages being able to make a call because it has a five inch touchscreen plus it also has 1080p front and rear camera so it's working as a dash cam as well now these cameras are not just dash cams because they also come with digital stabilization as part of what this system does that means that you're not going to get that horrible shaky footage that you'd get on most you can get that clear crisp and like they say it's floating on a cloud that also using ai technology gives you blind spot monitoring and you will get a visual and audible beep so you literally know if something's pulling up alongside you before you pull out saving you from having probably one of the most dangerous accidents in the world also as part of this awesome system it's got parking guardian that means it's continuously monitoring so when you are really concerned about your bike being stuck somewhere not catching what's going on around it like someone backs into your bike or someone tries to steal it you'll get it all on camera now this system is packed with so many more features one of them being that it will do your miles per hour or kilometers per hour on the display so if you want something bright at night that you can see because this screen promises to be bright in all conditions then you will get that as well also you can get so many more accessories so if you want to go even further with this you can get for example tire pressure monitors these go on to your dust caps of your tire they screw on and what it will do is it will tell this system what the pressure is front and back and you can see that on the screen not just that as well if you're like me in winter and you're an all-year rider and you've got nice big thick gloves on and you don't want to be playing around with a touch screen you can get an easy to touch remote with nice big buttons that you can press also also it comes with a handlebar standard mount on it but say for instance you want to have it mounted to you where your mirrors are or another part of your bike there is a selection of mounting options this one here is the mirror mount so if i wanted to put this say onto a scooter i could easily attach it with this or even say a pan where it's all plastic on the front i can attach it via the mirror they literally have four of absolutely everything now i'm pretty sure i haven't covered it all but of course what we're going to do is we're going to do that 11 out of 10 full helmet head in depth review and check this system out properly so let's get on with it let's start with the great unboxing now the packaging is really well printed and on the back lists all of the product features on opening up the box you will find your user manual and installation guide this is nice and clearly printed and looks super easy to follow next you'll find your smart screen this five inch display does feel really premium straight out of the box with some nice big buttons on the back that should be easy to press even with big thick gloves on on the back of the device you'll find that the wires are all color coded that will make installation super easy next you've got these good high quality feel 1080p cameras one for the front and one for the back the back having the longer lead looking deeper into the box you'll find a and b these have your accessories in straight away you find this really cool key ring plus your main wiring loom and also your GPS module. On opening up box B, you'll find some zip ties, a selection of different bar spaces, meaning that you can fit to any size handlebars. You also have these 3M stickers to mount your cameras nice and easily to your bike. It also comes with this nice, solid metal handlebar mount. Plus, it comes with all of the tools that you'll need for fitting. 
Also, you get some nice stickers you can add to your panniers or your top box. And that's absolutely everything that you'll find in the box. So let's move on to installation. The first thing you need to do is locate your battery on your bike, plus remove any plastics making it easier for wiring. Next, take your handlebar mount and the correct spacer. With the tool provided, make sure you undo all of the bolts to make it easy to fit. Now, take your handlebar spacer and put it onto the location you wish to put your handlebar mount on. Take your handlebar mount, slip it into place and tighten the bolt until it's nice and secure. Remove the two bolts at the top of the handlebar mount. This will then come apart and will be ready for you to push your device into place. Then simply put the two bolts back in, tighten them up and that is your smart device nice and secure in place. Now it's time for wiring. It comes with a plus, a negative and an ignition feed. But I use a device called a Thunderbox that makes it super easy for installation that only ever turns on when the engine is running and the power is at the correct level. Next, take your cameras. The one with the longer wire is for the rear. I've decided to use the 3M tape to stick the camera into place, making it super easy. Doing exactly the same on the front, finding the perfect position for the camera and sticking it straight on. Also take your GPS aerial. I've decided to hide this underneath the seat. Now all you need to do is run all of your cables, the length of your bike, either hiding them behind the plastics or underneath your tank, making sure that it's a nice, neat and tidy job. Adjust your cameras by turning it with the arrow on the front to make sure that you've got it in the right place and just simply tighten with the tool provided. And with the installation being complete, as soon as you fire up your bike, it will pop into life. There is a QR code on the front that will take you straight to the app and literally just click to install. Then connect to the device using the on-screen prompts. It's really easy to follow. The device will go through a quick tutorial explaining the different features that are available for you to use. With that done, you're straight into the device. As you can see, everything connects really well. The touchscreen feels super easy to use and you can check your camera position so you can adjust it as you need before you go. Plus, you've obviously got Apple CarPlay. That's super easy to connect as well. Go onto the app, select your AIO5 and it will connect really quickly, straight away and you're in. Next is the additional accessories. I've got these tire pressure monitors. You just pop them out of the box, pair them to the device before putting them on the bike. Once you've done that, simply remove your old dust caps and replace them with these. There's a tool that you can tighten them up with as well if you need that little bit extra. And straight away on your smart screen, you will see your tire pressure. You can change this to PSI or bar. The other accessory I picked was this smart control with these nice free big buttons that means that no matter how thick the gloves I've got on, I can press it to answer hang up calls and go through the menu. This is really easy to install because it attaches to your switch gear and it's got an adjustable plate to go on any bike. You simply undo the bolt, pop it into place, retighten it and you're good to go. And straight away it pairs. All you need to do then is select the different buttons and as you can see I can pause, skip and go back through tracks. We'll make it so much easier on the road. So now it's time for the real world test. Now this is literally just been installed. I've not messed around with any of the settings. It is as it comes out of the box and I will have some good fun customizing it later. But for this review, we're gonna go for literally everything standard so you get an idea exactly what this can do. So first things first, let's fire up the bike and power up the AIO5 light. And straight away, we're in. It fires up so quickly. Now on the display you've got your tyre pressure. It will tell you to take a break because I did fire up the bike but it will come off as soon as you get going again. So you've got your tyre pressure 30 in the front, 36 on the back. Automatically going into Apple Play that I really like. But we'll go back to main screen really quickly first. So you've got your kilometres. Obviously it has its own GPS device as you saw me install so it can monitor all of that as well. A compass straight off the that obviously you've got your settings here so you can go through and you can customize everything from how much you like the brightness you can see that the display itself is cracking it comes already installed with a 28 gig SD card ready for capturing all of your camera footage and you need to go out and buy an SD card and mess around trying to install that 
again all these settings that you're able to change and update when you go through it that's your tire pressure your headset your gps your rc your bsd and of course you can update the system via wi-fi lifelong updates so anything ever happens to apple carplay or another system where they need to update it it will be so it will keep working and keep working and keep working right you can obviously go through language features time reset about and obviously download and that's for downloading the app right back to the setup itself so you've got a couple of different things here so if you want to turn around and go right what i want to do is i want to go onto this display and we'll have a play with this a little bit later it gives it more of that rev sort of counter for kilometers per hour so it's easier to be displayed so you've got that option as well including your tire pressure the voltage coming off of the bike it's just awesome isn't it all right let's go back again there's buttons across the top here and if you press the left hand button it takes you straight back now as we saw it jump straight into carplay that i really really like and we've got our google maps i can play a tune that will go straight into my um com system via my phone that's really awesome so we'll have a little bit of a play with that as well and then just say i want to say right i want to go onto google maps i want to go to a place i'm going to say i want to find a petrol station it will find me one and i can select it and it will navigate me just like it would if you're on your phone what means your phone's protected and in your pocket at all time what's really cool and now going back on this going back to my car link you've got obviously all of the cool apps that you do use so if you wanted say miles per hour on there while you're going along on the was app that's a sat nav one with your miles per hour on there as well it's just cool so you've got all these different features you've got your whatsapp your messages you can listen to your audio book you listen to your music we will have a play but let's kick off with the main screen on first and let's just see the kilometres and everything come up and see what the display is like as we're going down the road. And then, of course, we'll test out the dash cams with the stabilisation. I'm expecting good things from that. Not just as an everyday rider being able to capture anything that happens, but also as a motor vlogger, it means that you've suddenly got access to more footage back and forwards that could make video filming really awesome. So obviously it's in kilometres per hour at the minute. I do need to change that. But as you can see, it reads really well. We're at 32 kilometres an hour, according to the clock, around about 22 miles per hour on the Triumph. And we've got our compass coming up there with exactly where we are, 344 degrees off of north. That's really cool. And again, our tyre pressure. So if, we can, if we've got a slow puncture and it's losing air and we glance down, we could easily see that that's safe from the front tyres at 30. It drops down to... 15 or 20 and feels a bit spongy be like, oh i've got a slow puncture happening that's absolutely awesome okay so let's now check out the car link and let's have a little bit of a play now i like to use google maps and what i love about this is because i'm using apple carplay what i'm able to do is i can play some music so i can play some music while i'm going down the road and i can have my sat nav just like you would do on your phone but displayed on this lovely five inch display so let's just pop something in here let's just turn and say we are going to go to a nearby village called clipston and then the sat nav now is already loaded straight on we're going to start the route but if i want to go back to the main menu then obviously you've got your written instructions there plus i can audibly hear them via my comm system and it's displayed on the screen and i'm going to play some music so i'm going to play some music as i go down the road I'm going to make that bigger so I can see it and see what it's like as we're riding along. Now today's quite a low Sunday because it is winter. What can normally cause some devices to be quite hard to see, but that is beautifully bright, absolutely beautifully bright. So what I'm instantly getting is the audible instructions via my comms, obviously, and I can see it on the screen as well. And what's really nice is obviously it dips down the music, so it's nice and clear, and then the music goes back up again. I really love the point that they're doing Android and Apple on this device, because it just opens it up so much more so much more but i can already see how easy this is to see and be able to follow via this device it's just awesome so chilling out listening to my tunes following the sat nav say for instance now i wanted to add in a stop or i wanted to add say a petrol station we just passed but i wanted to find one i can use this smart controller on the side as example just touching it there with the winter fit gloves on to add stop and then again i can press it there so if you're not into touch screens and pressing it this little controller can come in so handy likewise answer a call phone starts ringing i can answer it by pressing a button and i can hang up just there as well that makes it super super cool but then now brings us on to the next feature and of course that is this awesome 
camera on the front and the rear so when you're riding along you can see exactly what you're capturing as well so if your camera gets covered in dirt and you want it to be cleaned you can easily see that on the screen so you can jump off give it a clean make sure it's recording properly but you can change to which camera you want to have a look at so we can swap across here now this is obviously the back camera behind me another feature that i really like because having the back camera displayed means that if you're with a riding friend and you're thinking where are they and you can't see them in your mirrors you've got this nice beautiful display because they could be right behind you in a blind spot that opens up so much stuff so let's test out exactly what we're capturing as we go down the road so riding just down the road and looking at what i've got on the screen that footage looks incredible looks really seriously seriously good now this of course is recording to the sd card so you can pull it off at any point using the app you can download each individual clip because it films it in short bursts so you're able to go straight to that moment that you're looking for and pull off the footage if you say you had an accident or you caught something on camera you wanted to go back and check out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to swap to the actual footage that you're going to be capturing onto the sd card and see how great a quality that this is Well next up is a real party trick because we've changed the display to the other display that you can have if you want while you're riding down the road but what this does is blind spot detection that means it will give you a warning so if you want to pull out and you're on say a dual carriageway or a motorway or in America the highway and you're bombing along it will stop you from pulling out in your blind spot and potentially saving you from having an accident. So we'll see how well this works. We're going to take a little poodle along. So that's our first car come up with a caution then. And this works off of using these actual cam like cameras and doing like a coning effect to know as it rides by. It's so clever. So we've got another car coming up on the right. And we should see the caution then pick up on the right as well on front of this screen. So here we go. There we go, there's a caution in the blind spot. And now let's pull out. And we'll see what the caution's like now. And it's picked up the truck on the left as well. Right, this car's about to overtake me. Wait for the blind spot to see it. There we go, and it's done it. So again, that was, for me, not in my mirror space. Now, obviously, you're supposed to look left and right, but it gives you that extra caution that you know it's there. And you get a lovely, audible beep as well. So through my head, I get that little beep. And you can obviously, like I've said, this is just out of the box. You can turn all of these settings off. I know that you can adjust the range of what you want this to be to have it highly sensitive or turn it right down. But just out the box, I mean again, just picked up this other car going by that means if I hadn't seen it, now I have. I really love that as a safety system. That is really good on a device. 
really clever. Well, I've got to say that the Chigi AI05 light has just really impressed me. It has passed 100% my 11 out of 10 test. Easy to install, easy to sort of use, read that display, plus having those tire monitors as an extra popping up on there was brilliant. And even the remote to be able to answer a call and hang up just works so, so well. Now, I've probably already missed out so much stuff in regards to specs, so pop over to their website and check it out. But if you're interested in buying this, all the links and everything that you need is down in the description, plus the latest discount code. It's all there, just pop down in the description, click on it, and it'll take you straight over. It's so worth the money, it's so impressed. It's brought my bike right up to modern day standards, and it just looks super cool on the bike. Like I said, everything you need to know is down in the description. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend so they can also see this awesome piece of kit in action and i will see you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure bye bye for now <laughs>